Fibber McGee and Molly. The Johnson Wax Program. Presenting Marion and Jim Jordan as Fibber McGee and Molly. Ted Weems and his orchestra open the show with Good Night, My Lucky Day. Before we go on with the show, I want to remind you that now is the time to make your floors and linoleum beautiful as new with Johnson's Glow Coat. Until you've actually tried this remarkable no-rubbing floor polish, you can't possibly know how easy it is to apply. You merely spread Glow Coat lightly over the linoleum or floor with a soft cloth or the special Glow Coat applier. You don't have to bear down or rub it in. Glow Coat dries in 20 minutes to a beautiful polish that sheds dirt and dust and saves you hours of cleaning time. No matter how dull and dingy your linoleum looks now, Glow Coat will quickly change it to a bright, shining surface that everyone will admire. Ask your dealer tomorrow for Johnson's self-polishing Glow Coat, made by the makers of Johnson's Wax. time now, Fibber has promised Molly he'd put up a new shelf in the china cabinet. Today, stalling for time, he said he had to get some supplies from the hardware store. So here, just about to enter the wistful Vista hardware store at 14th and Oak Street, we find Fibber McGee and Molly. Well, go on in, McGee. I want that shelf put up today. Okay. Uh... Oh, hi, bud. Hey, ain't you the hardware guy? Well, yes, I am. I'm... Oh, hello, Mr. McGee. Well, uh, what are you locking the door for? Uh, is this a holiday? Well, well, no, but I got a rush call from the opera house, and there's nobody to take care of the shop. What's wrong with the opera house, bud? Well, the baritone drank some ice water and froze his pipes. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, bud, I'm an old hardware man. I'll look after things while you're gone. I don't want you to lose any money. Well, do you really know the hardware business? Sure. No. He thinks the crowbar is a saloon for birds. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to her, bud I used to run the McGee Hardware Company down in Phoenix The McGee Hardware Company Makers of bolts to the world and nuts to everybody oh. Yes, sir Fawcett Fixer McGee, they called me in them days oh. Fawcett Fixer McGee Foremost fish hook fancier and flesh valve finagler Featuring finest frying pan spliced waters and frog spears From Phoenix to Florida <laughs> Well, here, take the keys. <laughs> Don't hurry back, mister. Enjoy life while there's time. Run along, bud. I'll handle things okay. Well, come on, Molly. Mm. <clears throat> this is quite a store, isn't yeah. it? Are we in? Look at all the... Mm. Get that call, Molly, while I hang up my coat. Hello? Yes, Wistful Vista Hardware Company. You... What's that? Just a minute. McGee. Hmm? It's Mrs. Bitterjaw. Her bathtub is running over. Okay, we'll wait for it. Hello? We'll wait for it and send it back. <laughs> McGee, that's a... Hello? Hello? Oh, what? Well, that's a fine start. Oh, shucks. This stuff is going to be duck soup, Molly, for an old hardware man. The Uncle Dennis used to be a hardware man, too. Do tell. Later, he had a seat on the stock exchange. <laughs> Last time I saw him, he had a seat on the curb. <laughs> I think he was dabbling in gutter common. Say, my Uncle Dennis was a smart man, even if he did have reverses. Reverses? (laughs) 
Shucks, that guy was so backward he had to shave in a rearview mirror. Oh. <laughs> Hello. What have you got to keep the screen door from slamming? Uh, front door or back door? Back door. Well, use the front door. Thanks. <laughs> Hey, McGee, you're catching on to the hardware business pretty quick. Well, I always said that... Oh, hi, Phil. Hi, Miss McGee. Hi, yeah. man. Hello, Sylvia. Now, well, you're just in time, Phil. Now, I want you to help me with some work here. Now, now wait a minute, and I'll tell you what to do. Well, never, never mind, please, sir. I know what I gotta do. Oh. What's that, Philly? I gotta go help my gal, Rosebud Jackson. She moving today. Oh, oh moving, huh? Mm-hmm. What's the matter, Phil? What's she moving for? Well, she done got elected, please, sir. Elected? Elected to what? What's she running for? Well, she ain't running, ma'am. She just barely moving. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait a minute here, Phil. That don't make sense. Yes, sir. That's what I try to tell the old deputy, please, sir. But he the said deputy? that... deputy? What deputy? The deputy what come to elect Rosebud. He was a real uppity deputy. <laughs> oh, listen, Phil. I think you mean uh, Rosebud was ejected. Yes, sir, what I say. Why, you said elected. Yes, ma'am, that's what she is, elected right out on the street. Oh. <laughs> well, what's she going to do now, Phil? Well, she's going to move in with my mammy and us folks. Uh-oh. What? I say, uh-oh. That's funny, Miss McGee. That's just what my mammy does say, only louder. Goodbye, <laughs> <laughs> so, boss. Go so on, Phil. <laughs> Yeah, that gal's going to marry him in spite of everything. Yeah. I'd rather a good thing we took charge here. A lot of business today. Hello? Hello? Yes? Huh? An elbow joint? <laughs> oh, I guess you want Pete Bielman's tavern down the street. A big sign for a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sir Molly, I'll never forget the time I was down... Oh, who's that, Molly? Oh, it's that haughty Mrs. Upson and her chauffeur. Mm. Oh, it is. Well, I'll pretend I don't know her. Uh, hi there, sis. What can I do for you? How about a nice pair of hip boots? Hip boots? Please, I... Okay, okay. <clears throat> How about a couple of double-strength, rustless bear traps? Why, certainly not. I, I can't bear bears. Oh. <laughs> you can't bear bears, eh? <laughs> Ever try to ape a ape, sis? McGee, let the lady talk. Uh, what was it you wanted, ma'am? Uh, I am Mrs. J. Uppingham Upson, oh. president of the Wisp. This uh, lady's Wednesday afternoon Shakespeare and culture club. Oh. Oh. How about a nice alarm clock, sis? Keep the minutes of the meeting. Oh, why, of not. Um, I, uh, I wish to leave my piano bench to be repaired. Oh, what's the matter with it, sis? It wobbles. It what? It wobbles. Oh, it's most embarrassing. Oh. Why, just this afternoon, I started to play Drink to Me Only With Thine Eyes, mm-hmm. and the piano bench wobbled so, I found myself playing Shake That Thing. <laughs> all right, the piano bench has got to be fixed, but uh, all that needs to be done is just have the legs sawed off even. You come back in a little while, and we'll have it ready for you. Oh, very well. Uh, mm-hmm. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> There's nothing worse than a piano bench that wobbles. Oh, mm-hmm. never mind that. Get busy and saw that leg even with the other. Okay. Now, saw it off nice and even, Mickey. Okay. Oh, how do you do, I'm sure? What can we do for you? Have you got any bathroom scales? <laughs> well, we've got scales, bud, but none of them big enough to weigh a bathroom on. Oh, gee. Hmm. He must be selling his house room by room. There's certainly some odd people come in for hardware. And it's odd what hardware your floors and linoleum come in for. Ah. But Johnson's self-polishing <laughs> glow coat will protect you. Ah, Paul. Oh. What was it you want? I want to buy a shotgun. Got any? They're right over there, McGee. I see him. Here's a beauty, Harpo. Double barrel, too. Gee. Throw your hat up in the air. I want to see how she aims. All right, here. Oh, heavenly days, McGee. Oh. Hey, say, you better be careful there, Fibber. You're liable to hurt somebody. Shucks, I, I didn't know it was loaded. Well, then why did you fire the other bear? I didn't know that was loaded either. Oh. <laughs> what did you want the shotgun for, Mr. Wilcox? Moose, mice, mallards, or murder? <laughs> hunting. Just hunting. I love to hunt. It clears the cobwebs out of my brain. It, it what, Harpo? I say it clears the cobwebs out of my brain. Oh, you, you don't need a shotgun for that. What you want is a vacuum cleaner. Oh, is that so? All right, all right. I won't tell you what I was going to do. Oh, come on, Mr. Wilcox. What was it, Harpo? I was just kidding. 
kid. Why, sure. McGee didn't mean anything. No. Well, all right. All right, then. I was just going to tell you that Ted Weems is going to play Moonlight and Shadows. And Perry Como's going to sing. Oh. Now, aren't you glad you made up with me? What are you looking for, McGee? More shotgun shells. Well, so long, folks. <laughs> Fibber is still trying to even up the legs on Mrs. Upson's piano bench. Uh, uh, that ought to be okay now. No, no. That's it's still uneven. You got the one leg too short now, McGee. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I'll have to saw the other three off even with it, I guess. Woohoo! One side there, Sonny, and eat some more for the roller skate. Hey there. Take it easy there, Grandma. Huh? You cut your figure eight? No, I cut my figure, period. <laughs> hey, Skippy, what am I offered for a pair of second-hand skates? Two bits. Sold. How much is the coaster wagon? Coaster wagon, five bucks. Here you are, I'll take it. Hold okay. the door open there, lady. That's it. Here I come, ready or not. And did you get a load of the makeup? Sure. Hmm. We should have sold her a can of paint remover. <laughs> well, how's the bench now? Well, I guess I saw them other three legs off too much this time. Well, saw the first one off some more. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, Babushka. Hello, Tavari. Oh, how do you do, I'm sure. What's on your mind, Vodka? I'm wanting to see proprietor about some scalping. Oh, scalping, eh? You come to the wrong reservation, bud. Try the barber shop three doors down the street. Oh, no, no, Tavari. I mean scalping. S-K-H-O-L-Q-M-E-N-G. <laughs> and G. Scalping. Oh, that's all right. Oh, I'm a sculptor. He's a sculptor, McGee. Oh, I get it. He makes statues and stuff. He makes faces and busts. <laughs> Dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. That's pretty old stuff there, Molly. Hoping is old stuff, too, Tavari. Have you got some sharp chisels? What for? I am scoping statue of mare apple push. <laughs> but all chisels are wearing off too quick. What is wrong with your staff? Well, there's nothing wrong with any tools you get in here, bud. I think the trouble is in making a statue of the mayor. Sure. Everybody knows you can't chisel a politician. <laughs> Catch on, bud. Da. 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 Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Ah, shucks. What's 
the matter now? I sawed that leg off three times now, and it's still too short. Well, saw the other legs down even again. And hurry up. That sawing is getting on my nerves. Okay. Turn on one of them radios, Molly. Might as well enjoy ourselves. Okay. Hey, Molly. Turn that thing off. Turn it off. Gee whiz, I can't keep up with that music. (laughs) McGee, Hmm? hurry up with that piano bench. You know how that Mrs. Upton is. Say, hmm? aren't you getting those legs awfully short? I don't know. What's the difference if they're even? <laughs> Who's that, Mrs. Upson? No, huh? it's a little girl. Oh, oh yes. I couldn't see her all the shook. Oh, hi, sis. Hi. <laughs> what can I do for you? Hmm? I says, whatever you want, make it snappy. I'm busy. What doing? Oh, well, if you got to know, I'm evening up the legs on this piano bench. Is it good? Good what? Good evening. Good evening. Nice weather. Er, uh, Dad, Brad, it's just if you don't want something, beat it. I gotta finish this job. Why? Well, because it's needed, that's why. Ain't that reason enough? Enough for what? Enough for evening up the legs on this bench. Uh, listen, sis, I, I'm a busy man. Now, for the last time, what was it you wanted? I want to show you something, I bet you. Oh. You see that man out there in the white coat? Hmm, you see him? Hmm, do Why, you? sure, I see him. <laughs> Why, that's the man who sells the ice cream bars, McGee. What about him, sis? Don't you know? No, I, I, I don't, I'm afraid. <laughs> he sells them for nickel. <laughs> well, what of it? Hmm? I says, what of it? How does that affect me? Well, if it affects you like it affects me, we'll each have one of it. <laughs> I get it. I get it. It's blackmail, but I'll pay. Here's a nickel, and don't bother me any more today, see? Okay. He won't be here again today anyway, I bet you. Thanks, mister. <laughs> Everybody seems to take me either for a clinker in the furnace or a busted garter. Why? Well, I'm always being shaken down. <laughs> That kid sticking me for a nickel is what floored me. Next time you're floored, try Johnson's quick-drying glow coat. It shines as it dries. Powerful. You back again? What can we do for you, Mr. Wilcox? Let me see your nails. Oh, no. They look terrible after working a while in here. Oh, no, no, no. Not Uh, your nails. Just nails. Oh. Uh, What do you use for shingles? Hot compresses and stay in bed until the doctor tells you. Oh, no, no. No, wait a minute. I just want some nails. Shingle nails. Oh. And I, oh, oh, yes, I also want a pint of shellac. Shellac, you got a prescription? <laughs> Since when did you have to have a prescription for shellac? <laughs> well, you don't really, but I think it sounds more professional. What else, Mr. Wilcox? Oh, yeah, I want a small plane. Land plane or sea plane? Oh, just a plane. I'll bet you wouldn't fly it if you had it. No, no, I mean... Let's see your pilot's license. I haven't got a pilot's license. Well, then, What's more, I don't... how do you expect to fly a plane? I tell you, I don't expect to fly a plane. Oh, scared, huh? No. <laughs> no, I'm not scared. Look, I don't mean airplanes. I mean a plane that you plane wood with. Oh, why don't you say Get that? it? You know, you push it along and it shaves the wood down. Mm-hmm. What are you using it for? I'm fixing some bookcases. How long you had them? Well, two years. Only two that... years old and you want to shave them already. Say, listen. You what? got a saw? Have I got a saw what? I think you ought to have a saw. We got a swell saw here. Listen, see? if I wanted to see a saw, I'd have said so, see? I mean, oh, what's the use? <laughs> <laughs> you. Well, I guess that'll take care of Mr. Wilcox's little boy for a while. <laughs> Good day to you, my hard-working little hard wearer. Oh, how do you do, I'm sure. What's on your mind, bud? Oh, yes. Uh, tell me, swizzle stick. Uh, you make car keys? You betcha, bud. Did you lose yours? No, I believe I left them in my limousine when I parked her. Oh, I think he's very funny. Who, Molly? Park your car keys. (laughs) (laughs) Very amusing, yes, very. But it's just Greek to me, yes, yes. 
Uh, now about the car keys, my boy. Oh, yes. It is imperative, yes, uh, quite imperative, that I drive to the governor's mansion immediately. Oh. Must get into my car some way. Well, help the man, McGee. Yeah, you betcha, bud. Uh, where is the car? In close juxtaposition to your emporium, I believe. Oh. Well, go and get it and drive it up in front of the store here. Oh, he means that for it is, eagerness. Oh. Well, uh, come on along, bud. I'll, I'll have you into your car and hit. There we are, my boy. You can see the keys in the ignition. Careless of me, careless. Well, don't worry about it, bud. All we have to do is bust the window. Seems a little drastic, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> or if it was a right-hand drive car, we'd have busted the window on this side like this. See? <laughs> you can do it either way. <laughs> Say, uh, what's your hurry? I uh, just happen to remember an appointment. Uh, here's a five-dollar bill for your trouble, my boy. What do you mean, a five-buck bill? Why, this is just an old cigarette coupon. Imagine that. And I bought a new suit with ten of those this morning. <laughs> Must be getting absent-minded, yes? Well, uh, call me someday, my boy, and we'll have lunch. Fine. Where? Oh, anywhere. It's the company, not the place. Sure. Yes, yes. Let's make that definite. Shall we make it definite? Okay. Fine. fine. Uh, real pleasure knowing you. Yeah. Beautiful car. Wonder who owns it. Well, good day to you, my boy. Better make it over that. Well, McGee, did he get his car all right? <laughs> you betcha. Nice guy, too, Molly. We're going to have lunch together sometime. Someplace. Whoever he is. Well, uh, how'd you know it was his car? Well, he seen... That is... Uh, why, uh, Chuck seen... Uh, how'd you get his car opened up? Oh, I just busted the window with this hammer. Well, for... Why, that rat swiped my hammer. Ted Weems playing and Elmo Tanner whistling Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And now, there's something I've been wanting to tell you. Oh, hello, little girl. Hi, Mr. Wilcox. What you doing? Why, I'm making an announcement about Johnson's self-polishing glow coat. Hmm? I say, this is a glow coat announcement. Glow coat? I can spell it a bit. Huh. All right, let's hear you spell it. Yes, I see. Oh, <laughs> Bye, Mr. Wilcox. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> well, well, whether you spell it I-T or D-L-O hyphen C-O-A-T, Glow Coat is it. One of the finest no-rubbing floor polishes you've ever used. Just apply and let dry. And in 20 minutes, you'll have bright, shining floors and linoleum. Very easy to keep clean. Floors that everyone will admire. And you won't have to do any rubbing or buffing, for Glow Coat is self-polishing. I'm sure it's unnecessary to remind you that you save money when you order Glow Coat in the larger sizes. Now back to the Wistful Vista hardware store, where Fibber is still laboring valiantly to even up those legs on Mrs. Upson's piano bed. But look, uh, before we go into the store... 
Look at their beautiful window display of Johnson's glow coats and no rubbing floor polish. That... Ah, fall. Oh. <laughs> and now into the hardware store with Fibber and Molly. Oh, dear, you're getting those legs pretty short, McGee. Oh, thanks for help, Molly. She wanted them evened up, didn't she? She's going to wobble when I get through with it. There. Now it ought to be okay. No. Oh, my. Now you've got that one leg too short again. Oh, well. Say, this is a real busy place, isn't it, McGee? I wonder what the owner would have said now. Hello. <laughs> you got a mouse trap. <laughs> sure, you got a mouse? No, but I know where I can get one. Okay, I think we can work something out. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Say, I'd like to have gone over that again. Somehow it didn't seem very sensible to me. <laughs> I think he's the one that had that singing mouse on the radio. Say, tell me, is it true they're feeding that mouse nothing but twist cheese so it'll learn to yodel? No, no. Oh, they tried twist cheese, but got so the mouse wouldn't sing half note, only whole note. Oh. Hello? What? How's flies? Oh, flies is pretty mean. How's bees? Uh, what? Oh, house flies. <laughs> I thought you said house flies. What? Fly papers? Uh, three cents a sheet today. Sure, it's cheap, but we had a sit-down strike, and this is some we got stuck with. <laughs> you betcha, we'll send it right out. Uh. Heavenly days, McGee. Aren't you through with that leg on yet? No, it won't be long now, though. Mm. Neither will Mrs. Upton's legs on the bench. <laughs> oh, she won't throw a fit when she comes... See who it is, Molly. I'm, I'm, I'm all through, but I got, I got to sweep up this sort All right. Oh, it's Mrs. Upton. Oh. <laughs> uh, hi, Upton. <laughs> I just finished the piano bench. It's, uh, it's solid as a rock now. Uh, uh, who do I make the slip out to? Oh, in my name, Mrs. Daisy Upton. Okay. One piano bench, six, four, Upton Daisy. <laughs> Here you are. Uh, very well, I just... Uh, is that it? Why? Well, uh, what did... Uh, why, well, well, sure that's it. Why, well, 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 where are the legs? Oh, well, they're under there, of course. <laughs> I, I did have to saw them off pretty short. They didn't... Uh, pretty short? Why, why, the seat is practically on the floor. Well, <laughs> why, how do you think anybody can play the piano sitting on the floor? Well, uh, well, well, what do you expect to do about it? Come, 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 my man, speak up. Well, uh, well uh, I, I don't know. Uh, uh, that is, uh, uh, well, I... Uh, oh, I got it, sis. Oh, yes? You run home and bring the piano back here, and we'll saw the legs off that, too. <laughs> Yes, I, I thought they were sweat. When, when they did that... Hey, what's that noise, McGee? Listen. Oh, that. That five million people filing their income tax. Uh, Good night. Good night, all. This is 
Harlow Wilcox speaking for the makers of Johnson's Wax and inviting you all to join us again next week at this same time. Until then, good night. This is a Red Network program of the National Broadcasting Company. WMAQ Chicago.